Welcome to my channel again, and uh, today I'm going to uh, make this review video about the 2008 Ferrari F1 car driven by Kimi Raikkonen. As you can see, Kimi Raikkonen, the perfect race, Spanish Grand Prix in 2008, pole position, fastest lap, and victory as well. So, what you should know about this model car it's a beautiful piece and um, the detail is amazing around the car let's start here on the front wing as you can see pretty simple front wing back in 2008 um, so there isn't too much detail about about only the front wing but i think it's absolutely normal but i will show you that there is a hole under the nose cone, so it's so, so small yeah, so the camera focus on it and you can see there is a hole and um, that leads up to the top top of the nose cone, as you can see this is called S-duct um, you can see these S-ducts on uh, nowadays Formula 1 cars as well so it's not a new thing um, it was used back in 2008 as you can see as well, it's a, actually a double a double as duct or at least the outlet is doubled, yeah so the front wing, the, the inner lip of the front wing leads air to that hole and it comes out just on the top of the car um, also on the nose cone you can see two antennas which is pretty amazing these antennas are made out of metal, so be easy on them and don't break them off if you can. Um, yeah, but they look very, very cool. The suspension is very, very nicely detailed as well. Um, the wheel turns, of course. This piece turns the wheels instead of this upper wishbone. This middle one uh, turns it, as you can see very nice turning radius also a brake duct we have and yeah that's all about the front suspension um, coming here as you can see badge board um, quite similar to the badge boards that uh, we are using nowadays but they were these were a little bit um, simpler I guess but also there was a secondary badge board badge board coming uh, down from the under side of the of the nose part of the car so yeah, it was hanging from there it looks pretty cool I guess and yeah some side arrow things just uh, in 2017 and 18 also these kind of <laughs> like horns uh, amazing detail which leads you know air a little bit down into the side air inlet yeah looks pretty amazing actually coming back to the wheels as you can see it has a nice little cover on it um yeah they were used back in 2008 and 2009 i guess as well so they were covering the rims of the wheels there is a small cutout to let the air come out from the brakes that were you know going in the air duct and coming out here to cool the brakes but yeah pretty amazing detail um, so the side inlet was pretty big I guess as you can see and the mirrors were on the side box so as you can see very interesting detail now they obviously bend this thing now the new uh, mirror mounting thing is you know mounting the mirrors on the halo but only Ferrari is doing it um, yeah sides of the car I've already shown let's see what what you can see in the cockpit um, very nice detail on the steering wheel if my camera would focus yes and also a small sticker magnetic Marelli sticker on this very very tiny windshield uh, the detail of the driver um, uh, unfortunately the seat belt is painted on the driver so that that is not an actual part but never mind but the helmet of Kimi is amazing I mean 
just look at it very very nice detail um also on the top i love kimmy's helmet designs um, yeah they, they look awesome uh on the top airbox pretty big as well nice big inlet the t cam and um, yeah also on the side box you can see this uh arrow part that was making additional downforce um, they are banned now so the rear part of the cars are completely uh, well no detail on them just the engine cover and that's it but back in 2006 7 and 8 they were using these uh, small parts also this coming from the side of the car and leading air just above the rear wheels so it was more efficient uh, it was creating uh, a little bit more downforce and um, as you can see here we have this thieving like uh, small detail here um, very interesting to see that nowadays we have similar parts like like this it's it's like a thieving but it connected this to uh, rear uh, arrow pieces or arrow parts they it, it hold it together those two and yep but nowadays kind of similar to to the thieving that we see nowadays so yeah double exhaust as you can see from the side of the car you know it was just a simple engine no um, recovery systems and things like that just the engine and that's it the rear wing is quite similar to the rear wing that we can see from 2017 again. Um, quite wide and uh, low rear wing. It has also nice curvature to it, um, which is pretty dope looking, I guess. And also the double holding, double rear wing holders. Ferrari is using these double holders from 2017 again, so. Not just a simple part, but a double holder part. So Ferrari is using quite a lot of things that they were already using back then. Um, yeah. From the back of the rear wing, as you can see, uh, very nice detail to the diffuser as well. If my camera would focus, I could show it, yes. So very, very nice detail to the to the big diffuser as well it was a multiple piece diffuser so yeah and the rear suspensions are very very nicely detailed as well so as you can see you have all the wishbones and rods and everything there very very amazing detail on the rear suspension as well you know a thing that you don't really look at or don't see too much but still Hot Wheels made a lot of effort uh, to make make this even the rear suspension so good so real life like um, yeah well that's about this model car I guess there is nothing else that I want to show you um, amazing detail made by Hot Wheels Racing and it's worth the price. I bought it on CK model cars. And yeah, I can only recommend this beautiful uh, model car because the detail around it, the effort that uh, Hot Wheels put, uh, put into this car is just amazing. And yeah, one of the best Formula 1 model cars out there for not too big price tag. Yeah, um, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Sorry for the language problems. Yeah, I still getting used to it. You know, my native language is not English. <laughs> Probably you heard my heard it on my voice, my pronunciation, and everything. So yeah, but I think I'm progressing with these videos, and I hope you like them. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.